One of the areas that should be cleaned up after the angel to D2L migration is the discussion area. If you go to content or communication and you click on discussions, you'll see a list of all of your discussions that came over from Angel. But if you remember from the discussion module, in D2L you have forums and you have topics. Forums are used for organization and topics are the different topics that you want your students to reply to or to start their threads in. But when our discussions moved from Angel to D2L, for each topic, came an a, a identical forum. So in this case, we have Discussion Unit 1 Forum, and we have Discussion Unit 1 Topic. Discussion Unit 2 Forum, Discussion Unit 2 Topic. So it becomes kind of confusing for the students. It becomes a little cumbersome to work with. Our suggestion is to have one forum, possibly edit that to say just in this case, in this cor case, um, course, our unit discussions. We would suggest for this instructor that since each of the individual topics have their own start and end date, to leave this forum as always visible with no specific start and end date. Yet, she would like to have for each of the topics that the users must start a thread before they can read and reply to other threads in the topic. So by setting that at this level, the students will get th that setting for each and every one of the topics and she won't have to set that each time. She also has a general set of rules for the students, and we're going to leave the forum unlocked for the entire course. So now we have a forum called Unit Discussions, and Discussion Unit 1 is in that forum. Now we're going to come down and leave Discussion Forum Unit 2 and go to the Discussion Unit 2 topic select that, edit the topic, and we're going to move that to the unit discussions and save and close. So now under our unit discussions heading we have discussion unit 1 and discussion unit 2 and an empty forum. So that means that that forum can now be deleted. We're going to do the same for Discussion Unit 3. I'm going to edit the topic, move the forum to our general unit discussions, save and close, and now we have an empty forum that can be deleted. In the case of this course, all of the discussions in this course fall under the appropriate category, Unit Discussions. In your case, you might have multiple categories or multiple forums. You might have a general forum, which would include items such as students' question answers and news or introductions, and then something for your units or your modules. You'll have to decide on the organization but you'll want to move things around. As you can see, it's already looking a lot less confusing for the students. Once you've moved all of the discussions around, you might notice they did not come in in exactly the order that you would want them in. For example, in this case, Unit 1, Unit 2, and then there's Unit 8. In order to be able to change that, go to More Actions, go to Reorder, and now you can choose to have the discussions come in in the order that you would expect.
save. If you accidentally deleted something that you did not want to de delete, you also can go to More Actions and go to Restore, and it will show you exactly what you have done here. So if you accidentally deleted the Discussion Unit 10 forum and you didn't want that to happen, you would click on Restore, click Yes, go back to your discussion list, and you'll see that the Unit 10 discussion that I deleted is now restored. This is the easiest way to clean up your discussions in D2L.